right guys welcome back uh this is gonna be the third episode for weekly gaming fix so we're gonna get the elephant right out of the room the showcase playstation showcase this is all we're gonna be talking about for this episode i'm sure there's some more stuff that went on this past week but this is the highlight of the week this is what i've been waiting um all month on so we're gonna get right to it basically i'm gonna just call out and break down all the stuff that we've seen um stuff that i liked personally um and then we're gonna see what the future holds for phase two of the ps5 so to get this knocked out the way metal gear solid 3 remake now if you've seen in my last episode i was hoping praying that we were going to see some glimpse of a uh, snake or big boss and we did they gave us that he just creeped up out of nowhere out of the bushes out of the water and i'm like yo was that him it was him so yeah i'm excited for this game i am excited uh hold on let me see if i didn't freeze anything That's taking too long to load. So, yeah, it, they didn't give us like a gameplay trailer. They just gave us a little sneak peek. And this is all I really needed. So, I am ready for that. So, PlayStation announced a remake of Metal Gear Solid Snake Eater. Another game itself was shown as we instead got a big mysterious teaser trailer leading up to Snake's big reveal. PlayStation also announced the Metal Gear Solid Master Collection Volume 1, which includes Metal Gear Solid, Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty, and Metal Gear Solid 3, Snake Eater, which is coming to PS5 sometime this fall. So, basically what that means, oh, that's my dryer. Basically what that means is we are getting a remastered collection. Not remastered, but it's like an updated like the PS2 games we're gonna get that for the PS5 that's gonna be one two and three um, and then we're gonna get the whole remake of three that's gonna be its own individual thing this is just a collection um, I, I don't see a set time or a set date on when this game is coming out but when it does day one it is a day one like I said before, personally, this is my favorite Metal Gear uh, game, Metal Gear Solid game. Uh, this is like the prequel before everything. So this is Big Boss. This isn't Solid Snake. This is Naked Snake. Now, if y'all are not too familiar with the story, highly, highly, highly recommend y'all play these games. Um, yeah, Hideo, Hideo Kojima, mastermind behind this game. Story is crazy. Gameplay is crazy, stealth. It's like you you you're literally in the jungle and you have to survive off the land, while enemies are trying to track you down, while wildlife is just so happens to be there. So you got to take care of yourself. You gotta you gotta prepare food. Um, yeah, you gotta watch out for what the enemy is doing. Like, it's a whole bunch of stuff that's going on, and I love it. So, I am ready, 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 ready for this game. I'm not, it's not going to be game of the year, nothing like that. I just want this for nostalgia purposes. Games like this, we need more remakes of. Now, I was a little bit confused as to why... They didn't do a Metal Gear Solid 1 remake instead of 3, but I'll take it. I'm not complaining. I I was just wondering. I'm glad they did 3 with my favorite one. So, the only thing that I'm, like, kind of worried about is how the gameplay is going to be. So, Hideo Kojima, he's not with Konami anymore. So, I hope they can follow the game format from the OG one and take it to this. What I want to see, 
I want to see Metal Gear Solid 5 gameplay with this updated version. That's what I, that's what I want. That is what I want. So, yeah, this is coming sometime fall. I hopefully this year, sometime fall, yes. Um so I am looking forward to that. Um we are going to go to the next big announcement. I'm just getting the heavy hitters out of the way. That's pretty much it. Um, Spider-Man. Spider-Man 2. They gave us a 12-minute trailer. Gameplay trailer. 12 minutes excellence. Fuego. Fire. You got to see the black suit in action. You got to see Miles Morales. And I love the way they were switching off. So this game isn't co-op. But it's, you can switch uh, the characters like off and on during missions and stuff as we've seen. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm definitely ready for this. So I already know this is going to be contender for game of the year. I don't even have to say it. Like from what we've seen and from what I was seeing on Twitter, they make it out to seem like this game about to win it. And it hasn't even came out yet. <laughs> So, yeah, this this is about to be a special game. Uh, we got Craven, we got Lizard, we got Venom. We haven't seen Venom, but Craven about to be a problem. I already know. And this black suit itself is about to be a problem. Like, for those of y'all who have seen the gameplay trailer, Peter is cold, bro. Like he's on a whole different. He's on demon time for real, for real. And from what I'm guessing, Miles and Peter are going to have to fight eventually. Um, this suit, I feel this suit is going to take over him. And I think the big final boss is going to be Venom. So we'll see. But they gave us 12 minutes of gameplay and I'm like bro is this like some of the stuff some of the stuff I wasn't even like ready for like I didn't even I couldn't tell if it was like the cinematic cutscenes or actual gameplay so that's what that's what blew my mind and they both got the wingsuit like th yeah I there's no more for me to say. I was speechless throughout the whole thing. And the, and the black suit with the powers and Miles Morales had like a Kamehameha wave, but it like it was like electrical and yeah, these powers about to go crazy. So that this is going to be game, uh contender for game. I'm not saying it's going to be game of the year. I'm just saying it's going to be up there. That is all. I have no I have no uh, money in for one specific horse, like I, like I've been saying. Um, Cause twenty twenty three, bro, this the my wallet is hurting, and games month after month after month are gonna be coming out. So it's it's any it's anybody's race at this at this point. So what else is going on? Now I'm switching back to game rants and I'm switching back to uh, IGN. Uh, this is mostly where I where I got my uh, info. So we're getting a new Assassin's Creed game, Assassin's Creed Mirage. So the next Assassin's Creed coming on October 12th to Xbox Series, Xbox One, PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, PC, and Amazon Luna. I don't know what Amazon Luna is, but oh well. So, I saw the gameplay trailer. Well, not really gameplay trailer. It was just a trailer, but like hints of gameplay in it. This looks like it's bringing me back to that OG Assassin's 1, 2. That's, that's what I like. And I saw formats of like stealth. That's what we've been missing in Assassin's Creed lately. Like the RPG and the action is cool and all, but... Y'all taking the stealth element away. That's what the game was made of. 
in the beginning. Um, but yeah, I saw glimpses of what Mirage is going to be, and I feel like they got that that stealth element back. I want to say they got that back. Um, so definitely, this looks promising, and I'm definitely going to get it. I didn't play. I played a little bit of Origins. I didn't play um, Assassin's Creed uh, Valhalla. I heard that game was longest. It was long, like hundred plus hours long for no reason. Uh, so I'm not even going to waste my time on that. Uh, but yeah, Assassin's Creed Mirage is coming October 12th and it is going to be hurting my wallet. So another thing that I was surprised about seeing Alan Wake 2 coming October 17th. And that's crazy how Assassin's Creed in this game is five days apart. So. I am actually a big fan of Alan Wake. I played the game, loved it. It was it was highly praised when it came out. Now Alan Wake 2, they gave us an official gameplay reveal trailer. And from what I'm seeing, it's it's like that. And especially for it sets the mood for Halloween. It's gonna be coming out in fall time, so that's great. Um Yeah, so the trailer show Alan Wake Return who appeared to be trapped in the dark place. This time, Wake is joined by a new playable character, Saga, or Sega Anderson, who is joining Alan in his investigation. So, you get to bounce back from two players, I'm guessing. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm ready for it. So yeah, from what, what I've seen, I'm definitely getting this game as well. So I, I am ready. I am ready. Okay, Final Fantasy 16 is right around the corner. It is coming out June 22nd. Uh, yeah, and from what I've heard, this is going to be more of an action RPG than just a regular, uh, your typical uh, Final Fantasy RPG. So, I like it. I wasn't really on the wave of like the whole Final Fantasy. I didn't. I played Final Fantasy 15. That was like my first official um, Final Fantasy game. And then when the remake for 7 came out, I played that. So those are my only two experiences for Final Fantasy, and I loved it. Uh, from what I saw in the story trailer, and you could turn into like a dragon or whatever. Like, it was beautiful. Um, especially with these these graphics they upped it so I'm I'm ready I'm ready so we take a look at Clive interacting with a ton of characters around Villastia so I'm guessing that's the main character and he looks badass uh, he can turn yeah like I said he can turn into like some type of dragon monster and it's gonna be heavily story action-packed so I'm ready for that I already know I'm going to be putting some hours on this game, bro. I'm not even going to do a whole walkthrough on my channel. This is just going to be streaming since this game. I already know Final Fantasy games are super long. So, yeah, I am uh, not ready for that. So, we got Dragon's Dogma 2. I saw the trailer for that. Looks promising. I never played the first one, but this looks... It looks pretty good. I'm not going to hold you. I don't know if I'm getting it. I'm going to wait till more reviews come out and check out more gameplay. Uh, I don't know if this is like you got to play the first one in order to play this one. So I'll just wait till it comes out so I can look at more stuff and, and see what other people are saying about it. Uh, Bungie got a new game that's coming out. Um... Marathon is a first-person shooter. Bungie originally released on Mac in 1992. So, this is a long-awaited game from what I'm assuming. Uh, yeah, and this is, like, dead. And they just bring it back to life, I guess. I don't really know what this is. PvP focus. So, it does have... See, it does have a single-player campaign. So, it's going to be multiplayer-based. Um... 
So they gave us some more uh, trailers for Street Fighter 6, but it's going to be focused on story mode. So create your own player, you fight through, um, or you these characters become your mentor, like Ryo, uh, Ryu or Chun-Li. Um, yeah, so definitely getting that. And that's, that's coming out next week. Uh, yeah, they had a whole bunch of other stuff that, it was cool, but I'm not, it's not really on my radar like that. And then they came out with this. So I'm looking at foams and it's by Square Enix, which I was surprised by too. Foam stars, bro. This is a knockoff version of Splatoon. I'm looking at this game. I'm like, this is Splatoon or this is like the knockoff version of Splatoon. I don't know. Maybe it could be better. Maybe it could be competition for Splatoon in the future I don't know but I'm really not checking for this game and yeah they had a whole bunch of indies uh, that they announced but I want to get to this game so this is like yeah this is the final one that I want to talk about Phantom Blade Zero I have no idea what this game is about I don't know who the studio, the gaming studio is, who made this game. I don't know anything about this game. It came out of nowhere. This is like if Bloodborne and Ghost of Tsushima had a baby in Sekiro. Like, the gameplay is going to be crazy. Crazy. And I've seen how... So what I'm what I'm scared of. This trailer what the, that they gave us, it looks too good to be true. I want that exact gameplay what they were showing to be what I'll be playing. Like I don't need any sugar coating at all. I need the real thing. I don't want to be playing something completely different from what they gave us. So, but what I'm what I was seeing the the heavy the heavy action. I'm sure there's going to be a good story to this as well. Um, yeah. This, yeah, the gameplay was, <laughs> the gameplay was crazy. And the character, I'm, I'm interested in, in the character. And the, it's super fast paced. Um, damn, what a, the, the animation looks so clean. Like the sword play. The way the dude was pairing, I'm sure the pairing is going to be a, that's going to be an important thing in this game. Um, yeah, flawless, flawless. Yeah, it says feature fast paced sword game, uh, sword game combat taking place in a bleak and punishing semi open world game. Game does not have a release date. So realistically i don't see this game coming out till late 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 this year or early next year i'm not getting my hopes up to where this game is going to come out in august that's i don't think that's going to happen so yeah like i said they had a whole bunch of other indie games that i really wasn't checking for like that but i'm sure whoever plays the indie games i'm sure they'll like it so i'm not knocking them the only thing that I didn't really like about the showcase, they had a whole bunch of fluff for no reason. I was scared they wasn't going to give us a Spider-Man trailer. Like I was going to be highly upset. Uh, but they gave they 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 uh, did the final one, the save the best for last. So yeah, they they definitely saved it with that. Um, but they had some other bangers. It was just a whole bunch of indie games that I wasn't. Me personally, that was up to me. That I wasn't really checking for like that. And then they put the, um, uh, what was that game? Gran Turismo movie trailer. Why y'all gonna put a movie trailer in a? Anyway, I got what I needed. This game is on my radar for sure. Uh, Spider Man, is a day one. Final Fantasy sixteen is a day one. And, uh, what was the other game? Phantom Blade. Phantom Blade is a day one. 
Assassin's Creed Mirage. It's a day one. So, yeah, yeah, but I definitely went over my time. Um, <laughs> with all these games coming out, I had to talk about it and break down the ones that I was going to get. Uh, but anyway, hope y'all like this video. Um, let me know what y'all are excited to see and what y'all are wanting to get this year. It's going to be some heavy hitters coming out in uh, fall time. So get ready to spin. If you're looking at a collector's edition, um, like a premium edition with DLC or like just the standard alone when it's $70. So just, just be prepared what your wallet is getting into. I'll see y'all on the next uh, episode that we do for next week. Deuces. Never, never, never.